What you guys, how do you know if your GPU is dying? What you're seeing on the screen right now is some uh, artifacts or interference that's uh, happening with the monitor screen here. Now this is a normal sign of something is wrong. Now this doesn't necessarily mean your GPU is bad or failing. This could be a number of different things. It could be a driver issue. It could be a monitor screen issue. It could be a cable issue or it could be just the graphics card is going bad and the way you can tell is when you're gaming or when you're using a computer you may see things like this colors on the screen artifacts a lot of stuttering and freezing on the screen uh, this is a common sign that you've got ram problems inside the actual gpu itself screen glitches like you're seeing here flickering also you may have strange artifacts like colors streaming down the screen blue screen of death which you can also receive and these could be related to your gpu something like this when you're suddenly playing a game or you're doing something that's taxing the gpu you may suddenly get a a blue screen like this with uh, some sort of error code relating to the gpu this doesn't always necessarily mean the gpu is dying but it's a sign that something is not right you may also have high temperatures with the GPU or a high fan noise from the GPU as well. And you need to investigate and find out what is going on with your GPU. So I'm going to show you some of the things you can do to try and work out. Now, first thing is to uninstall all the driver using something like a display driver uninstaller. You can download it for free. It works for uh, NVIDIA and also AMD type of graphics cards and you want to remove all of that driver just in case it's got some sort of corrupt uh, file in there or something like that maybe you've just uh, rolled out a windows update and something's gone wrong and it's now uh, acting funny another thing you want to do is pretty cheap is change out your hdmi cable uh, if you've using an hdmi cable then replace it with a good value uh, HDMI cable they're pretty affordable but make sure you get the correct one if you're using a, a DP cable then order yourself a brand new DP cable before you start chucking out the graphics card because it may be some sort of interference with the actual cable itself and this can quickly help you diagnose whether it's a cable issue or not uh, so always buy a new cable to test first also you've got 3d mark here which is a piece of software you can use and uh, you can run this and test the GPU itself and normally it will show artifacts on the screen or any sort of stuttering on the screen or high temperatures and stuff like that if you're having issues now there's heaven benchmark as well which is a free download which you can run and again be more careful when you're using something like Furmark because this will really intensely push that gra graphics card to its limits and also you will see the temperatures rise up so don't walk away and leave this running set it up properly i'll show you how to do all that a little bit later on in the video but if you're going to test it this is a good way to see whether the, uh, the actual card is going to fail because the temperatures will start to rise and i normally use this on uh, ones that i've bought in second hand now you can see here this is a graphics card right here uh, once you strip it down you can actually clean all the compound off and you can use um, things like isopropanol and other types of stuff to clean off the GPU and reapply new thermal compounds. Sometimes after a while the thermal compound becomes very dry and you need to clean all that off and put new thermal compound on. You can also examine the actual board itself to see if there's any burning or any sort of damage to the board at all. If you're not familiar with this sort of stuff then leave it to someone else who can do it for you. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do if you're used to doing this sort of work but if, you, if you're not then leave it to someone else. You can purchase isopropanol pretty cheap uh, you can rub off the old compound using this sort of stuff and clean up any sort of uh, marks on the board or anything like that to see if there's any damage like burning or anything like that you can also use um, this stuff which is called uh, tim clean uh, this is another type of cleaner which will allow you to clean the gpu or cpu depending on what you want to use this is probably the one that you've seen the most people using uh, it's pretty good stuff and it comes into uh, sort of bottles 
you get the aggressive uh, cleaning stuff and then you've also got the purifier and also to remove any sort of surface debris on the, uh, the actual GPU itself or CPU. Now you're going to need new thermal compound and you can buy something like MX4 pretty cheap and affordable. You can also buy uh, Noctua's uh, range, they've got a bunch of them you can choose. Choose whatever one uh, suits you. Uh, liquid cooling is an option you can use but it's a little bit more uh, dangerous so be very careful. Also you can use something like the, the Grizzly Crynut uh, Thermal Compound as well which is probably one of the best on the market. Now the GPU itself you can see here it might be dusty and dirty at the back like this and you can clean all this off uh, with some sort of a contact cleaner or something like that or isopropanol uh, and just clean all this off and make sure there's no damage to the board itself. Check the fan itself, make sure the fan is not failing and the card is getting super hot. Remove any debris and dust from the fan, especially these blower cards. They do build up a lot of dust very quickly and they can sort of push the temperatures up. These do run a little bit hotter than normal uh, GPUs, one with the free fans on them and stuff like that. They These do run a little bit hotter, so just bear that in mind. And uh, But other than that, what you want to do really is take this apart and add new thermal compound and then clean off all the dust and give it another test to see whether your problem has been resolved. Make sure that the system is running 100% malware free and also there's no problems with the computer whatsoever. Swap out the monitor to make sure the monitor is not bad and once you've done all that you can then go ahead and start to test the graphics card itself with some software. Now Fermark GPU stress test is a really powerful tool so be very careful uh, when you're using this type of tool. It can really push the GPU to beyond what normal uh, games will push the GPU. So just bear in mind that this is a pretty stressful test that you're going to put it through. So when you're using programs like this don't run it for long periods of time and walk away and leave it. I'm going to set a temperature maximum here of 90. Uh, you can drop this down a little bit uh, less if you want to. Some of the cards will uh, be okay at 90 and some cards might be okay at around about 80. But you shouldn't really be getting up to that sort of temperatures anyway. But this will push it uh, to its limits. So what we want to do here is go ahead and run this uh, GPU stress test here. Now you can put anti-aliasing on there as well if you want to do that. But I'm just going to run this test for a while and uh, you'll see a warning up here as I said guys do not run this and walk away from the computer and let that temperature climb if you're having problems with that card the whole idea here is to see if you get any problems showing up on the screen any artifacting any problems if you're getting a picture like this at the very beginning it doesn't necessarily mean the graphics card is okay you may need to get it warmed up a little bit and that's when the problems start to normally arise so keep an eye on the temperatures and you'll see here the temperatures will start to climb and this is pretty normal for uh, this type of program okay now you can use less aggressive types of software like heaven benchmark and stuff like that which is a pretty more realistic benchmark it's not going to overtax the system uh, like this uh, piece of software will do and you'll see hopefully what you should see is the uh, temperatures get to a certain point and then plateau out and uh, if that is a the case, they will go up and down and dip up and down and it will reach the thermal capacity of that card and it should not go any higher. Uh, if you start seeing it climbing and climbing and climbing and not stepping down at all, uh, then you're going to be running into issues. Keep an eye on the temperatures here. Make sure the temperatures are not climbing uh, to the point where you can damage your card. Running this for long periods of time with super high temperatures will damage your card and also will shorten the life of your card so you don't want to do this for too long you just want to get an idea of where the problem lies and if you start seeing stuff show up on the screen stop the test straight away you know the card has got problems after you've done all the previous things that I told you to do like replace the cable replace the monitor and also uh, change the uh, graphics drivers and stuff like that make sure the malware is free from the system and make sure you've got a nice fresh install of Windows and if you're still running into issues and you're getting artifacting then you can delve a bit deeper into uh, changing the compound if you're still getting problems after all that then your GPU is probably on its way out 
Now there is people that can uh, reball these for you. To be honest with you, reballing is not really sort of a solution. It's a short term solution. And what will happen is eventually it will start to have problems again. Now make sure also that your computer is not super hot as well. If it's in the summer and you live in a hot country and uh, you've got uh, hardly any uh, cooling going on with your PC at all and the temperatures are rising in your PC, this will also make the GPU rise, especially when you're gaming and stuff like that. So make sure you've got a nice uh, cool system and hopefully you should have something looking like this with no problems on it at all. And that the problems you were seeing were not actual GPU related, it was related to some sort of Windows issue, believe it or not, where when you change um, from one user profile to another, it was glitching and causing that problem. So good old Windows 10 is probably uh, got another bug, and that was one of them that I found. I was actually panicking at one point, thinking it was an issue with my uh, GPU when it was actually to do with Windows 10. So always do your research and always do your testing to make sure there is no problems with your GPU and hopefully you'll soon find out whether you've got a bad GPU or not. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. If you need any more help or any more information, then pop on our Discord server, and I'll be happy to help you or give you some information over there. Anyway, take it easy, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.